Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Cruising Maya. If we haven't met before, we are Mac, Jenny, and Disco, and together we've been exploring the west coast of North America on our trusty sailboat Maya. In the last episode, we enjoyed some incredible fishing as we bashed upwind into the Sea of Cortez. And in this episode, you'll see us explore the sights and sounds of the city of La Paz, Mexico. And after that, we sneak out to the famously beautiful islands to the north. All that and more coming up. Now we begin this episode en route to La Paz from our last anchorage at Bahia Balandra. Okay, we're coming into La Paz, and yesterday, unfortunately, our depth sounder stopped working, which is very unfortunate because La Paz uh, has a lot of shoals and some really shallow areas. Um, there's really just like one little channel, and you just have to make sure you follow the markers. Uh, so that's unfortunate timing, but we are in La Paz where there are amenities and supplies, so hopefully we can get this figured out. Because anchoring in some of these places where the charts aren't always accurate, definitely need instruments like your depth sounder. Oh, and just to, just to add on to what Jenny said, like the charts are like ridiculously off, like so that you really, you can't trust them really at all. So having the stone art not working right now is, <laughs> it's kind of uncomfortable, we'll say. So hopefully we can get that figured out. So we found a little spot to anchor here in La Paz, right in front of the city. And it's true what they say about the La Paz waltz. Boats are every which way because of the crazy current and the wind that's whipping through here. So everybody is pointed every which way. Like this boat right behind me, they were like way far away. And then now we kind of switched and now they're right behind us. So it's just crazy. Every, I feel like 20, 30 minutes, it's a whole different setup. Yeah, very interesting anchoring here in La Paz. Capitan de Puerto La Paz, Capitan de Puerto La Paz, este es Valero Maya. 14. Uh, este es Valero Maya, dos tribulantes en bota, um, anclar en el Magote. Ok, what is the last port? Last port. Ensenada. Okay, two people board? Si. Okay, Maya. Okay, have a nice day. Muchas gracias. And just so you know, that is like the most intimidating thing ever, I would say. I couldn't even do it. I made Jenny do it. Yeah, the trade-off was Max said if I checked in via the radio to the port captain, he would dive down on the boat to see if anything is covering up our uh, sonar. I think I got the better deal. <laughs> Okay, so now is the time uh, that I need to do my thing, which is dive on the transducer. Of course, it's like windy and like kind of cold. <laughs> like, gotta, just gotta get get it done. So, yep, here we here we go. <laughs> Got a rope to hold on to because the current is crazy strong. Is it cold? So dove down on it and there's nothing obstructing it. So it's got to be something to do with the transducer. So hopefully we can get that replaced somehow. So while we wait for a new transducer part to get shipped in, we set out to explore the sights and sounds of this vibrant and fun city.
not only is the city really nice, La Paz is a major hub for cruisers. The social scene is very strong there, so we got to enjoy hanging out with fellow sailors. Now, in between all the fun we were having, we were able to figure out that the sending unit of our transducer had gone bad. It being a specialty part, we had to have it shipped in, which is something you can do in La Paz. We used Deco Marine out of San Diego to facilitate the shipping. It's a super helpful service if you have anything that needs to be shipped from the U.S. into Baja. With our part at least a week out, we decided it was a good opportunity for us to go explore the islands to the north of La Paz, Isla Espiritu Santo, and Isla Partida. Alright, so we left La Paz and only had to go about 20 miles, less than that, and we're here at Espiritu Santo Island and it is gorgeous. Feels like kind of another planet. Um, luckily, we did find a handheld depth sounder, which is great to have even just as a backup once we fix our uh, real depth sounder. And it worked out great here coming into the anchorage, um, gave us some readings. And uh, yeah, so we're just waiting on parts in La Paz for a new depth sounder to come in. And we're just hanging out in the islands until that comes in here in a few days. And yeah, just have a little fun. Enjoy Mexico.
Okay, so we're in the middle of a pretty big storm actually. Definitely the biggest storm we've seen in Mexico. And yeah, just for due diligence sake, um, I'm going to dive on the anchor. Alright, so that's all the time we have for this episode. You'll be happy to know that we are not done with our stay in the islands. Coming up, we spend more time exploring Espiritu Santo before heading back to La Paz. We also suffer from some strange engine issues, which we will be tackling as well. Before we go, a quick reminder, we have a website at cruisingmaya.com. There we've got more information about us and Maya. And we also have a merchandise store full of extremely fashionable items. Be sure to check back often because we are constantly adding items to the store. Also on our website, we have a gear we love page. There you'll find a bunch of different items we love and recommend. The best part is if you click any of those links and do any shopping on Amazon in the next 24 hours, we'll receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. That's a great free way to help us out. And we really do feel those commissions. So thank you to everyone who has thought about us before buying something on Amazon. Another way to help us out is by joining us on Patreon. We have several different levels of support to choose from, and they're all fish, which is kind of fun. Huge shout out to our current patrons. You guys are awesome, and we so appreciate the support. And lastly, before we end the episode, I'd like to add a quick message. You know, even before we got Maya, we had a dream of sailing a boat to Mexico and spending time in these very islands. We dreamed for years on what it would be like and in this episode, you got to see us step into that dream. It took a lot of work, and it took a lot longer than we thought it would, but we made it. And these memories will cherish forever. So maybe you've got a far off place in mind too. I just wanna to say, 
keep dreaming and keep pursuing. Work hard, stay focused, and you can do anything you put your mind to. As always, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you here next time. Cheers.